VLOOKUP and INDEX MATCH are some of the most used functions in Excel and many people struggle to use it effortlessly. Today, I will show you how to do VLOOKUP and INDEX MATCH very easily. Let's see how to apply these functions easily. So, as you can see, I have created a table here with the company names, model names and I want to find the price. First, let's use the VLOOKUP function. Here, I have the model names and I want to find the price. If you go to sheet 2, here also I have the model names and price. But this is not the same as ordering this one. So I cannot simply copy paste from the other sheet. So what I do is, first I put equal to VLOOKUP, open bracket. And you have to first select the value which you want to look up. For this cell, we want to look up the price for the iPhone. So we select iPhone, comma and we have to select the table array. Table array means the array, the, ta the table cell in which our answers are sitting. So we go there, select the entire table, comma, and column index number. Column index number means the column number in which our answers are sitting. As you have noted, we have selected from B1 to C7. So our column number will be 2 instead of 3. So we select 2 comma and we put 0 since we want exact match close the bracket press enter we got the price so we have created the vlookup function now why we need index match i will tell you suppose if you want to add some more columns in between b and c now if you check here all the values are gone your equation is broken this is a maintenance nightmare. We look up have these kind of problems and it also not 100% accurate every time. So we use a better function called index match. Index match is more reliable and easy to use and it doesn't have any maintenance issues. Index match is the combination of two functions index and match. Let's see how index match works. To use index match effectively, I have developed a system to memorize the function very easily. I call it answer question clue. So what is the answer? Suppose if we want to check the iPhone, that is the question. The price will be the answer. So this is the question. And in sheet 2, we have the prices. This is the answer. And here also we have mentioned the model name so this is the clue let's delete this column first we created before now let's create the equation this is how it goes index open bracket first you select the column for answer comma match open bracket now the question comma clue and we put zero we close bracket twice let's apply this equation equal to index open bracket now first the answer column see this is the answer column we selected it we type match open bracket come back to the first page so this is the question cell so we select the question cell now we need to find the clue the clue is somewhere among this so we select the clue comma zero it is as simple as that. You can simply copy this equation to the other cells and you have got the answers. Now let's check what if we insert a column in between these values. See, the VLOOKUP values are gone but the index match values are still there without any error. 